Now, in the last video, I shared with you guys a couple of decor items along with some um, Ray Dunn spring and Easter items. Um, in this haul, I have some stuff from Target. Um, I have an item from uh, Deco Steels. I have two antique items, and then I have two items from Family Dollar. But the majority of this haul is pretty much uh, going to be coming from a uh, target i was going to separate it into two hauls but i decided to just show you guys all of this at once because my daughter has picked up uh, quite a few items for me as well um many of you guys know she goes to school about four hours away from uh, me but if she sees some items that she thinks i may like then she'll facetime me and she'll pick those up if i want them i told you guys in the video where you learned a little bit about me that i live in a small town so a lot of times my husband and i will you know we'll go shopping on weekends and then my daughter will pick up items for me um etc to kind of help me find some of the things that i'm looking for so, we are going to start with Target Dollar Spot. Now, a lot of you guys know that's one of my favorite stores. And I had been on the hunt for a lot of the rabbits that everyone had been picking up. Now, I had been unable to find any of these. But my mama and my dad went out of town two weekends ago and they went to target dollar spot for me and this was a target in a larger area they were in missouri and they pretty much found everything that i had on my wish list so we're going to start out with all of the little rabbits that they picked up for me so i have this one it's ceramic but it's kind of made to look uh like wood and they have these in every uh, size now these are the five dollar ones so they are a little bit larger so they picked up i think i have three of these and then they also picked up the two two of the middle size ones and they have them in various poses so you see this one he's kind of standing on his hind legs and then this one is kind of Kind of sitting down but he looks like he's pretty alert so i have those and like i said i have i have three of these that are this size with the uh wood look they also picked up the smaller size for me and then it comes in a pack of two so i have two of those And then I have, um, yeah, I have two of those two packs. And guys, those will be nice for a tier tray decor, um, for any other kind of vignette that you guys may like to place those in. Um, they also picked up, I was on the hunt for this item here. It's a cute little um, bike. It's a tricycle. And then it has a little basket, so you can even set um, small rabbits in there, any type of greenery. And you can use this more than one for multiple seasons. So this was $3, and I have two of these tricycles with the basket at the back. I also have three of these little bunnies with the greenery on them. So these are the $5 ones. I have three of those and I'm gonna come a little closer so that you guys can kind of see those up close. So I have three of those. And then I also have the little bunnies in these are the larger white bunnies that are five dollars 
I think I have three of these. And then I also have the middle size bunny. And they also came in different positions. So this is one of the middle size bunnies here. And then I have this one right here where the bunny is sitting. I also have this little uh, bar, mini bar cart. This is one of the items that um, everyone has been searching for. And you can do so much with this. You can use it at your coffee station um, and place like Ray Dunn mugs or any kind of decor on them. I've even been playing with them. And look at how cute the little bunnies look here i'm just trying to kind of give you guys some ideas on what you can do with these so they are definitely an excellent addition to your deck for i also have and i'm going to be skipping around guys i also picked up these two white um Pots with the greenery in them. Now, this came from Family Dollar, and they were $3 each. And I I can use these all year round, even when it's not, a, you know, a specific holiday, because I like neutral decor. So, these are a nice addition. You can even add these to your tear trays um, as space fillers. So, I picked those up from Family Dollar. Now, these two items here... These are antique items. You always, you guys always hear me talking about my uh, favorite antique store that I visit. And this is the Lemon Meringue Pie Dish. I also have one of these with the pumpkin pie recipe that I put out in the fall. And then these little store that these are just kind of just stains over time, but that's fine because I love the character with this. So I will be using this with my summer decor. And then I showed you guys in my last haul those cute little lemon signs that I picked up at like a local boutique like store. So those will be a nice addition uh, paired with that. And guys, before I go um, forward with my haul, I did want to ask you guys, um, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I thought about sharing with you some of my existing spring and Easter decor that I already have. A lot of times you forget what all you have from the previous season because you know it's been so long and I always kind of get surprised about what I do have when I start pulling out and going in all of my containers. So would you guys be interested in uh, me doing a video kind of sharing with you some of the things that I already have in my spring and Easter collection? I think I'm actually going to uh, do like a quick survey on my community page and let you guys vote and tell me if you would be interested in that. Now, these, these are all these tattoos, so they ended up getting in there. But these are some Dobos that I got at Decor Steels. Now, the only thing about these Dobos, when I opened them up, I guess Friday, some of them, the trimming was coming off, and I have already messaged Decor Steels to see if they have some, in, um, some more in stock that they can send me. But as you can tell, some of the trimming is coming off. If I turn it like this, now this is not going to be a difficult fix. Um, we could actually kind of pull the staples out and wood glue it. But before I do that, I want to see if they have another one in stock and I can just send this back. If they don't have one in stock, I'll just let my husband go through and fix it. But two of them came like that the smallest size notice this one has like the aged black on the dough um, bowl part 
And then on this one, it has, it's the age black too, but it's the same thing. It's coming a loose there. That's the middle size. And then a larger one, it was nothing wrong with it. So the larger one had like the white uh, distress look like that. And I love these. So like I said, you guys know how it is with uh, decor steals. Sometimes they will be sold out and you have to get on the wait list. So if they don't have any more of these in stock, I'm still going to keep these. But I'll just let my husband go through and fix the trim. And like I said, it's not a... A difficult fix at all when this one is more black and this one is more gray so I'm going to be placing these like at the back of my shelves and you know adding greenery and different stuff to it so they're uh, a nice addition to my everyday decor I also picked up these from that same antique store these are some old timey pipes. I'll come closer. And I picked up both of these with the intention on incorporating them with my St. Patrick's Day decor. Because when I look at these, I think about a leprechaun and his pipe. So, um, be looking for that in my upcoming St. Patrick's Day a uh, collaboration um that collaboration is also it's an open collab so if you're interested in joining that collab you can shoot me an email in the description box below or you can shoot me a dm on instagram at crafty girl down south and you can decorate any area in your house for saint patrick's day whether it be a um a shelf a vignette a tear tray whatever you want to contribute then you may do so and guys the saint patrick's day collab will um will be march the 5th um and it at 12 o'clock central standard time 12 o'clock p.m central standard time i forgot to mention that um just a while ago and then guys i picked up these little plant holders these came from a uh, Target dollar spot as well. And these can be used all year round. I plan on putting these probably somewhere like um, in my kitchen, on my little shelf behind my stove or in the bathroom. I have this size and this small size. And I have one of each of these. So I actually have four of these little baskets all together. I also have these uh, little hanging baskets. And I mentioned before in one of my previous videos, we're getting ready to paint our cabinets white and redo our countertops. So this will be really nice with some greenery in it hanging um, above the sink. So I have uh, some kind of some ideas on where I want to hang these up in my kitchen area. So I have this round basket and then this one right here is not as um is not as tall so that's how not as deep either this one is deeper so i have those and then i also have these um pod containers these are really nice they also have the white ones with the black top but I picked up two of these with the white top. And then that's kind of an up close, up closer view of those. Now everything else that I have is more so greenery. I love to decorate with greenery um, in my home. Uh, because you can kind of use it all year round. So these are, I can't remember. Now this came from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember the length of these, but they're pretty long. And I think I have six of these. 
Now I picked these up because they were priced at $39.99, but they were, I think, 50% off. So really, really good quality. And they're just coming out the package. So you kind of have to open them up. So look at the quality of these. And I only, like I said, I purchased six, but I can use two of these on my long shelf in the living room. I also have a shelf in here. Um, they're excellent to decorate with, but especially for the spring. And how cute would it be to place this there on my shelf that I decorate as a mantle and add little rabbits and all types of stuff. So I have six of those and those came from Hobby Lobby. And then and then I have these two wreaths from Target. I had I just took these out the packaging. I haven't even fluffed them out or uh, loosened the greenery or whatever. So all of this greenery is going to kind of be draping all the way around. So, very nice quality wreath. You guys notice that everything looks empty behind me because I cleared out all of the Valentine's decor. So, I don't know if I'm going to put one back here on my chalkboard or what, but I have two of these. And like I said, I haven't fluffed it out or anything because it was packaged. But the whole wreath is going to look like these little pieces that I pulled out once I go through and kind of loosen everything up. So I have two of those. And then I also picked up this wreath from Target as well. And like I said, again, nice quality. It looks kind of like um, really pretty grass. So look at that up close. So like I said, I don't know if I'm going to use this one or one of them on my chalkboard, but I have so many different uh, windows and cathedrals that I have in different places around my house. So I am gradually collecting wreaths like this that can be out all year round, not just on holidays. So guys, that's everything that I have hauled. That St. Patrick's Day collab is March the 5th. And it will uh, become public at 12 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you would like to join that collab, feel free to email me or DM me. Um, and I will add you guys um, to the group. Um, also, remember to come in below and let me know if you would be interested in seeing some of my decor that I've already purchased in previous years. Um because I will go ahead on and start working on that video. And then also, if you don't want to join the St. Patrick's Day collab, just come by and watch to see what I did for St. Patrick's Day. I don't do a lot of decor decorating, but I do have a couple of little things that I would love to share with you guys. So until next time, guys, bye-bye.